located on Skalberg Plain, Rotterdam. and square meters leading to seven cinema rooms showing around 325 movies each year over 940,000 people each year During winter, a lot of heat is lost through the facade, while at the same time, a lot of cold air enters through the entrance. This requires a lot of heating. In summer, a lot of extra cooling is required to counter the heat from out and inside the building. During the coldest months of the year, the most people visit the cinema compared to the summer months. This means that more body heat is produced when it's needed the most. The fluctuations in use is best seen on a weekly basis when there is a clear difference between the weekdays and the weekend. Even during the day, there is a fluctuation where more people tend to go in the evening. This is clearly visible during the weekend. In the Earth Rangers Center for Sustainable Technology, located in Woodbridge, Ontario, they make use of earth tubes. This system sucks in air from an area outside the building, which travels through concrete earth tubes, either cooling it down or heating it up. It then travels through the basement, passing various stations that alter the air temperature and humidity, where needed, before entering the rest of the building. A project, in Abudabi, called to forward 50 for the zone, has to counter periods of excessive heat, while maintaining a certain amount of transparency. The project, uses a double scan to create an extra zone, between the scorch of heat of the desert, and the relative coolness of the interior. The heat itself creates an upward airflow in between the double skin, in order to keep its zone ventilated, thereby reducing the need to cool the interior. Montfort University, in Leicester, England, uses a solar chimney. The chimney heats up, creating an updraft, which in turn pulls in fresh air from below. And finally, the CIRS Centre at the University of British Columbia makes clever use of the exhaust heat from the neighbouring building to preheat the fresh air coming in.